Topping our news tonight at 11, the governor ran her campaign on fixing the roads, but what is a real fix going to cost you? You've already seen an increase in your vehicle registration fee and your gas tax, but MDOT's director says the state needs $1.5 billion more per year, and that's just for the basic fixes here. Mara McDonald is live downtown tonight, and Mara, the word of the day and really likely the rest of the year in Lansing is revenue. Sandra, that's right, and revenue essentially means new taxes, and there's a growing realization in Lansing tonight that it's going to take new monies, new taxes to fix that. It is hard to imagine that things could get worse. That's precisely what will happen if we don't act boldly and swiftly. That was Gretchen Whitmer at last night's State of the State address, addressing our road situation. It was her first policy issue out of the gate, and while she may have talked fix, she revealed no plans on how to do it. What few in the room are candid enough to say is this. Is there a solution that involves anything other than new revenue? Oh, for the long-term fix, no. The Senate Minority Leader was the only one brave enough to last night. Tonight, the Senate Majority Leader has said new tax monies will likely be needed, and the House Speaker says it's time to tally it all up. We have to look at how we are raising that revenue in the first place. So I, I do believe it's important to look at how we are having our gas tax uh, accumulated at the pump, as well as the sales tax. Make no mistake, the taxpayers are going to be asked for more. The question is what the formula will look like. The current crop of legislators is all too keenly aware at the pushback they got from voters in 2015. That's when nobody in Lansing wanted to take a vote on raising gas taxes and registration fees and punted it to the voters. The voters smacked it down harder than any other ballot prop in Michigan history. We need to stop thinking about what the basis of our parties think and start realizing that we need to put partisanship out the window and check it at the door when we enter the chamber to work together. Back here live, we should get a better idea of where the governor thinks these new revenues need to come from the first week of March. That's when she gives her first budget address. We are live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.